Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be filming a different type of reading vlog. Um, I was inspired to do this by one of my favourite YouTubers called Hayley. I will put her channel down below. And she often does um, author taste test videos where she'll read a few different books by one author um, just to see if she likes the author I guess. And the reason I thought I would do this is um, I was on Goodreads and I was trying to clear out some of my TBR because it was like over 200 and it was just stressing me out because I keep adding books to it and I'm not reading fast enough. I actually only managed to cut it down by about 10 so that's not good. But I did realise that I had four books by John Mars on my TBR. Um, I've never read anything by him before. I've heard a lot of good things about him on YouTube but I've also heard some mixed things as well. Um, and yeah, it's kind of bizarre that I've got four books of his on my TBR. They've been there for ages. I think the earliest one that I added was June 2020, so that's like two years ago now. Um, and then the most recent one that I added was in October last year. So obviously if I really end up enjoying these books, then I've definitely slept on this for a long time. Um, and yeah, I just need to like get my arse in gear and actually read. And I feel like filming these videos does like force me to read because I feel like I'm held accountable in some way. I am currently reading the sequel to Black Leopard Red Wolf and that is Moon Witch Spider King. So I am reading this book uh, but it is a longer book. I think I'm around the 100 page mark at the minute um, but it is one that I really love just savouring and reading you know not all at once because it is like a big epic fantasy kind of book um, and I really like just spending a lot of time in this world. I think I I think it took me about a month to read the first one and I actually really enjoyed that because yeah I got to spend like a long time with the characters. It's not the easiest book to read so I definitely need time to do it however I do want to like get some books off my TBR so I decided to do this and um, John Mars is primarily like a thriller author so hopefully they should be pretty quick to get through. I'm also going to be reading them in the order that he published them because I've heard that in some of his books he spoils things that he's already written which is a bit silly. I'm going to start off by reading The One which is, I don't actually know, let me have a look. So the premise of The One is that you take a simple DNA test and it will tell you who your perfect partner is that you were genetically made for. However it has led to the breakup of countless relationships and upended the traditional ideas of dating, romance and love. Five very different people have received the notification that they've been matched they're each about to meet their true love, but happily ever after isn't guaranteed for everyone because even soulmates have secrets, some are more shocking than others. And then I've also heard that his other book called The Passengers, I think you can still read it as a standalone, but it is set in the same universe as The One. And I think it does spoil things about The One. So I'm gonna read The One first, then I'm gonna switch it up and read one of his standalones called The Good Samaritan. This is about this woman called Laura who works for a Samaritan hotline. And it literally says here, she doesn't want them to hope, she wants them to die. So I'm guessing she is some, you know, crazy unhinged person who is going to like be encouraging these vulnerable people to do horrible things. Um, so I'm going to read that one second and then I'm going to go back to like the one universe and I'm going to read The Passengers third. And then lastly, I'm going to read one of his more recent standalone thrillers and that one is called What Lies Between Us. And this is about this house where Maggie and Nina live. But it says that every night they have dinner together, but when they're finished, Nina helps Maggie back to her room in the attic and into their heavy chain that keeps her there. They all sound like they're going to be really like short, fast paced books. Um, and I'm excited. I think I'm probably going to start reading the one tonight. Um, I have work tonight. I'm doing a night shift, so I'll probably try and read it on my break um, just to like keep me awake. <laughs> Um, and I also have the audiobook checked out from my library as well. So providing that it's quiet at work, hopefully I'll be able to listen to some of it as I like get on with it. So hopefully I can actually make a really good start on this book tonight. Um, and yeah, I will let you know what I think. Hi guys, so it is like 3am. Um, I'm currently on my break at work and I just wanted to lie down so I'm led on like the little sofa that we have in the break room and I've managed to listen up to chapter 11 um, so I started listening to it on the way here um, and I'm enjoying it so far. So basically this book is set in a maybe like a very near distant future um, like a similar world to our own but they've managed to come up with a DNA test where you can find out who you're meant to be with um, like your perfect partner and in the book I think like a billion people have registered and um, so a lot of people have like left their marriages and have gone to like you know pursue a relationship with 
who they found out they're matched with. At the minute we're following five different characters and we're getting to see like their feelings about the DNA test, whether they want to do it, whether they've already done it. I'm very interested in this so far. Um, it's also set in England, so there's a lot of like English references, which I love. <laughs> I'm going to keep reading this for the rest of my break and then probably listen to it as well as it's getting like quiet at work and I just need to, you know, force myself to stay awake. I'll let you know when I have a thing. Hi guys, so it is now 7am. I've just got home. I'm in bed now. <laughs> I managed to listen to some of the audiobook at work and then also on my way home just now. Um, and I'm now like 30% through this book already. Um, excuse me, when did I last read like a third of a book almost? So quick. Um, <laughs> so far I'm really really loving this book. It feels like a Black Mirror episode. As I said we're following five different perspectives and each one feels like a Black Mirror episode and I'm loving that. I love Black Mirror. Every different character is having like a completely different experience with this DNA test. There's been quite a lot of like shocking chapter ends and even though I'm absolutely knackered right now I'm gonna stay up for a little bit and read this book <laughs> because it is reading so fast. I'm so like intrigued to see what's gonna happen next. My favourite perspective keeps shifting as the stories are going on. So first it was Jade, then it was Christopher, and now I feel like Nick is my favourite perspective at the minute. I really like the direction that this is going. <laughs> I'm probably not going to read for very long. I'm pretty sure when I like get cozy up in bed, I'm not going to read for any more than like half an hour. But it is better because normally after a night shift, I watch TikTok for like an hour. So maybe this is the way to go. Like read a fast paced book. I'll let you know when I'm about maybe like 50% through the book um, and see how I feel then. Hi guys, it is now the next day. Um, well, it's later on the same day that I spoke to you last. Ignore my spot cream face, but we're breaking out and I need to deal with it. So <laughs> I have absolutely zoomed through this book and I'm loving it. I'm on like 70% of the way through this book already. I'm definitely going to finish it today. This will be like the first book that I've read in the space of 24 hours for the longest time. And I'm just really, really enjoying it. Things are getting like way more intense than they were at the start. Everyone's got this like big dramatic thing going on. I'm just loving it. So easy to read. So like interesting. And because you're following those five different characters, as soon as one chapter ends, you just really want to get back to them. But then you've got the next person that you like excited to have got back to, if that makes sense. Like all of them are really, really interesting. I am just having the best time. I'm just going to continue lying down, reading this book. And yeah, I'll let you know when I finish it. But I feel like this could possibly be a five star if... The ending's really good because yeah, I've got like no faults about it so far. Hi guys, so it's now the next day. It's actually roasting outside today. We're having a little bit of a mini heat wave in England. So I've just been mainly sat outside in the sun. I have a glass of wine over there. <laughs> Last night I did finish The One and I actually really love that book. It took me like 24 hours to read it. It was so fast. I loved the ending. I literally cannot fault this book at all. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I'm going to give it a five star or like a 4.5 at the minute. I think I'm going to like stew on it for a few days and then see how I feel like at the end of this vlog because I had a really, really good time reading it, but I don't know if it's like an all time favourite. This morning, I've just been listening to the audiobook for my other fantasy book that I'm reading, Moon Witch Spider King. So I'm going to go outside now finish the chapter that I was on and then I'm going to start reading uh, The Good Samaritan and hopefully I will like that just as much as I liked the one. There's a woman who works for like a Samaritan helpline and she is in it for the wrong reasons so obviously it's probably going to be quite um, emotional and frustrating to read. I'm really excited to start reading the next one because so far my impression of John Mars is really really good. I think this one has a little bit more mixed reviews so yeah I'm excited to see how I like it and I will let you know when I start it. So it is now the next day. Again, it's another boiling hot day. So I have just been sat outside. I would have filmed outside, but there are like other neighbours in their garden and I obviously don't want them to hear me talking. So yeah, I've just nipped back inside just to give you a little update as to where I am. I'm probably about a quarter of the way through The Good Samaritan. 
and I'm enjoying it but I don't enjoy it as much as the one so far. It's interesting because so far we're following from this one woman's perspective who's a call taker. Part of the hotline is that they're not allowed to like convince people to not kill themselves if they ring up wanting that but they're there to just you know give support and something that the hotline does is if someone does ring and they are like about to kill themselves and they just want someone to be there in that moment they believe that people have the right to do that whatever they want to do and they will just like sit and like talk them not talk them through it but you know be there and support them through those like final moments which i thought was really interesting i don't think that that's something that would happen i think everywhere has like a duty of care to ring an ambulance or try and ring the police or something like that so yeah we're following this woman who works there but she absolutely loves listening to people in their final moments and it really like gives her something i don't know she really loves like being the one that's kind of encouraged someone to kill themselves so it's very twisted um, she is an interesting person to read from the perspective of but I'm not finding it as like exciting or as like fast paced as the one um, I think because we were following five different storylines five different perspectives it just read a lot quicker than this one is currently reading I'm just not finding myself like desperate to pick it up or like keep reading we're also having a roast today which is kind of bizarre based on the weather um, but yeah we're having a roast so it'll be lovely I'll probably just have like a chill evening read some more of this book Watch Love Island. god it is currently the hottest day of the year and i'm absolutely cooking in my car and <laughs> um, i've just finished work it's now like two days after my last clip i think or maybe i filmed a bit yesterday i can't really remember um either way it is now tuesday i'm back at work i've just finished my day shift and i'm currently in the car waiting for it to cool down before i set off because <sighs> oh my god um <laughs> i've literally got like sweat on my face already i've been in this car for like 20 seconds i thought i would just do a little update before i go home i'm about 75 of the way i'm about 75 percent through uh the good samaritan and i'm not enjoying it as much as i liked the one um there was a part in the middle there where i thought it was going really slowly um we were basically reading a different perspective of events that we already knew and yeah it was interesting to see like how they came about but a lot of it felt quite repetitive and yeah i just didn't love it however i do now feel that it started to pick up a little bit more it's turned into way more of a cat and mouse thing than i was expecting it is going like off the rails and uh, these two characters in this book are completely unhinged and they're doing some really really awful things to each other and it is quite fun to read but also like pretty shocking just like how far they're willing to go to try and get each other out but like i say i'm not loving it as much as the one and i'm actually quite excited to finish this book and then start reading the passengers which is set in the same world as the one so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go home well first i'm gonna cool this car down a little bit because i don't even think i'll be able to touch my seatbelt. chill out in the heat um hopefully finish this book and i will let you know my final thoughts at the end hi guys i'm here to give you a bit of an update first off this lighting is making me really want to fake time right now because we've just had like two of the hottest days ever in england and i still look like a pasty white bitch do i look this pale in person i literally look white i'm the same color i'm i'm more white than my white cabinet behind me wow okay um aside from that in the last clip i think i was in my car and i was like excited to finish the good samaritan i did end up finishing it that night because i really couldn't sleep it was way too hot and i feel like it actually really picked up towards the end of that book things were just going absolutely insane off the rails um it was crazy so i did actually really enjoy it towards the end and i was constantly frustrated because these characters are quite unlikable um and to see one of them get their own way at different times was quite frustrating <laughs> and then there were a couple of like big plot twists towards the end that i was like gobsmacked by i didn't expect it to happen um and then the final epilogue was such like a sigh of relief i just needed that i'm still unsure of how i'm going to rate them i think i'm going to wait until i finish all four books and then rate everyone individually based on like which one i preferred more but yeah i ended up really liking it there were some slow bits at first when you get that 
change in point of view is when it gets a little bit slow but it really does then pick up a lot by the end and then I was really loving it and I was proper like stressed about these characters and what they were doing very like what the fuck is going on here really really liked it and I did also start reading The Passenger yesterday um I'm not very far into it I think I'm only yeah I'm 15% in so far it's so good it's reading very quick but again I'm not getting that like initial dragged in feeling like I did with the one this one is set in the same universe as the one and it is mainly about the government bringing in driverless cars and most cars are now driverless there's absolutely no manual control whatsoever it's meant to cut fuel costs it's meant to be better for the environment but there's obviously something like not quite right about it because we're starting this book and i think there's seven different people i can't remember there's basically we follow a point of view from each person who is in one of their driverless cars and then something like takes over the car and starts taking them to a different location and they've said you will be dead in two and a half hours probably um, I think one of them gets the chance to be saved, but I'm not sure yet. They haven't really gone into that. And then now I'm following this woman called Libby and she is somehow involved in an inquest about an accident that's happened in one of these driverless vehicles and she has to decide whether um, the machine was at fault or the human. Now, obviously I'm gonna assume that the machine because the humans literally don't have control of the vehicle, but she makes a comment how most other inquests have been ruled to say that the uh, person was at fault. So we'll see what the deal is with that. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. Obviously I'm very early on into the book, but from like the initial get go, I don't think it's as interesting a concept as the matchmaking one was. But again, it does feel like a Black Mirror episode. I like how they're very like realistic and close to real life something that could come in relatively soon into the future that's what's really interesting about it i think just seeing how technology can go off the rails that's one of my like favorite tropes i think is to have a very similar society to ourselves but then seeing how one piece of technology just kind of messes everything up that is my reading update today i'm in work three till 12 it's now like 12 o'clock i've just been editing my <laughs> April and May wrap up which is way way overdue and I've just realized I've completely forgotten to mention one of the books which was like one of my favorite books of May so I think I'm just gonna have to wait until I film my June July wrap up and include it in that um but yeah oops it's one of my favorite books that I've read this year so like I don't know how I forgot it <laughs> I've only got one more book to edit on this video um so I'm probably gonna do that have some lunch and then go to work basically. I've also got a really busy week next week and I go away to Amsterdam for my friend Stag Do so um, I really need to like plan for that week because from like Monday to Sunday I've got something every day um, and I'm not working any of those days. <laughs> now that I've rambled enough I'm gonna go back to editing. I will let you know when I'm a bit further on into this book and let you know what I'm feeling about it. I'll check in with you a little bit later. Hi guys, so it's now a few days later. I haven't really been able to give you an update because I've not really been reading the last couple of days. And when I have, I've been listening to the Moon Witch Spider King audiobook uh, because I can't find the audiobook for The Passenger, but that's not what this vlog is about. This morning, I finally got the chance to read some more of The Passengers and I'm now about 50% of the way through. I am really enjoying this book, but I still feel like the one is the one. <laughs> so basically what's happening in this book is that some unknown hacker has hacked into the systems of I think it was seven different cars and they've taken over the system and they're about to send them all to one destination and they've said that they're basically going to crash them all into each other. It's not totally clear why the hacker wants to do this. They're obviously trying to make some sort of political statement. There's also a lot in this book about social media and how society are reacting to this terror attack as it is ongoing. There's cameras live streaming everything like in the passengers cars at this jury inquest where our main character Libby is. So it's airing like their discussions. They're getting asked like who they want to die, who they want to support. So like the whole of the country and the world is watching this. And then obviously you've got people tweeting and voting for who they want to die and all that sort of stuff. Every chapter opens with a screenshot of something from the internet or like a news headline. The last chapter that I just stopped on opens with a screenshot from like an internet quiz where it's asking which passenger are you and I'm assuming you like fill in a personality quiz and it's like oh you're most like this passenger and it's just really bizarre it has 
has turned into like a bit of a reality show but with the fact that people are actually at risk of dying and have already been killed the stakes are very high it's very intense it also seems that there's like no way to stop this hacker he said that if like anyone goes near the vehicles then he will just blow them up so i really don't know how this book is going to end and how they're going to end up stopping this hacker if they even do but i'm not getting that same like emotional attachment that i did to the characters in the one but you know i'm only 50 percent through there is one aspect that i thought was a little bit strange about this book but i can't really go into it because it is spoilers um but i'm hoping there's going to be a little bit more commentary on that later on uh, i think there will be because john mars does seem to be quite socially and politically aware in this book oh god the sun is like blinding me so yeah i'm hoping that there's going to be a little bit more commentary to come later on to explain everything and like why certain decisions have been made there's been little sprinkles of it throughout but i want it to go a little bit more in depth i've got a really really important day tomorrow and then the day after i'm going to amsterdam for three nights so i have a lot to do today so i'm going to do that first and then i'm going to go back to reading as like a little break for my important things I have a lot of forms to fill in so i'm going to stick something on telly probably like the walking dead also me and Mac have been watching Stranger Things because we're really late to the party. We'd both watched like the first and second season a few years ago and then we tried to start watching the third season and we didn't like it and we just gave up on it. But we've just fin finished season three and I actually really loved it. The ending was so intense and I just thought it was great. And then we watched the first episode of season four last night and oh my god. It was so dark, so twisted, so good and I'm really into it at the minute so hopefully when he gets home from work we can watch some more of that. Hopefully I'll try and finish this book tonight because then I can whiz through the other one. I'll probably have to take it to Amsterdam with me which means that I'll be able to show some little Amsterdam clips in this video hopefully. I will catch you in a little bit, maybe when I'm a bit further into my book or when I finish it. so it's a couple of hours later and i'm now at the 75 percent mark of the passenger um i have a few thoughts so firstly i really love how it has used uh the one and like the premise of the one in this book i feel like it's carried that over really well secondly this book got really really interesting after the 50 percent mark uh, there were lots of twists but i feel like at 75 percent, i have no idea where this book is going now i'm going to take a bit of a break now and do the washing up because it needs doing and then i'm hopefully going to jump back into this not long after and i'm really going to try and finish it tonight because i'm very very invested in it now and it's very fast paced very interesting and i can't wait to see how this is all going to wrap up so yeah i will let you know my final thoughts when i finish it hi guys it is now the next day i've done my important thing that i needed to get done today so i'm really happy about that i feel very relieved i've now got like two full days off and then i fly to amsterdam tomorrow night so I'm very excited. I really just want to read, chill, maybe start a new game. What I'm going to do now is eat some food because I'm starving. I went into Boots and I got myself a little sushi meal deal. And I got, um, they do this as a snack for the meal deal. So that was the best thing ever. Um, so I'm now 90% of the way through The Passenger. I'm so close to finishing, but I was reading it last night and I was like, I really need to go to sleep because I was getting up early and I had like 10% left. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna quickly read that now while I start eating my food. And then I'm gonna let you know my final thoughts before I start the final book. Hi, so I've just finished my lunch and I've just finished my book. Um, there was only 3% left <laughs> because um, for some reason they've put like a, the first few chapters of the one at the end of this book. I don't really know why. So I only had like one chapter left to go. Um, I feel like that last chapter was a little bit like underwhelming. Um, but that's probably because I thought there was going to be more. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it definitely like slowed down in pace a bit towards the end. Something was resolved like very easily, I thought. There were a couple of like extra twists and stuff, which I liked. But I don't know. I just didn't really feel super shocked by them. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to decide whether I preferred The Good Samaritan or The Passengers. And I think I preferred The Good Samaritan. That was like really heart pounding thriller. And the last like 10% was insane. 
whereas this one I feel like wasn't quite as high intensity. Maybe this one is my least favourite so far. I'm really in the mood to go and start a game. I think I might start Fallout 3, maybe. I've never played that game before, but I loved Fallout 4, so maybe I'll try Fallout 3. I think I'm going to go do that. I'm also going to take this shirt off and sort my room out. Then I'm going to start reading What Lies Between Us, and I'm really excited for this book. I've seen very, very good reviews and I'm really excited to start it. So I will let you know when I do that. It will be at some point today. So yeah, I'll check in with you then. so it's now a few days later um i'm back from amsterdam slash leiden where we were actually staying i had the best weekend it was amazing and i'm now like back at work back to normal so um i didn't get like a ton of clips from leiden but i will show you like a couple of pictures here just to show you what i got up to but i have a reading update for you so I got back from Leiden on Sunday night and on the way home I started reading What Lies Between Us on the plane and it's now Wednesday so I've had like three days of reading and I really really love this book. <laughs> this vlog is actually going so well like I've really enjoyed every book that I've read so far um, and I feel like this might be my favourite. At the minute I'm 60% of the way through and in this book we are following a mother and daughter and the daughter for some reason has locked her mother in the upstairs portion of the house and she won't let her leave. I love hearing both sides because you get to hear from the mother and the daughter. You get flashbacks to, I think it's 25 years in the past when the daughter is a teenager and basically see how all of this came about. There's been so many shocking reveals and just really interesting, dark, twisted things that have happened. I'm absolutely loving this book. I feel like it could be a five star, possibly, depending on how it ends. But it's one of those books that I'm just so excited to pick back up again. I find both characters really interesting, even though they are both very flawed. And yeah, I'm just so intrigued to see what is gonna happen, what happened in the past to like lead up to this. I'm just really enjoying it. Um, and yeah, hopefully this could be my new favourite. So as I said, I'm 60% of the way through. I am probably going to read some of it later tonight and then I will read some on my break at work tonight because I'm doing another night shift. So I'll hopefully be able to get this done maybe tomorrow um, and then I'll be able to wrap up this blog and let you know my final like ranking. I'm not really in the mood for reading right now so I think I'm going to play Fallout 3 because I did start that. I will let you know when I next have an update. So I'm currently just lounging around in bed um, reading this book. I'm hopefully going to finish it. I'm 81% of the way through. I'm still loving it. I still love how unhinged everyone is and they just seem to be getting worse and worse as we go on. Um, I've started to really feel a lot of sympathy for both characters. This book is really clever because even though they're doing such like abhorrent things to each other, you can totally understand why. And it's just so fun to read about these crazy, crazy women and the things that they've done, the things that they're still doing. I'm currently at a bit where I'm getting so much like secondhand cringe embarrassment because this person is just doing some mad stuff and it's like so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm hopefully just gonna finish this now um, because as I said, I'm loving it. Okay, so I've just finished What Lies Between Us and it was amazing. Five out of five, so, so good. Um, the ending, it was so fast paced. I literally, it was like, my heart was racing. It felt very exhilarating, very like, oh, it was just twist after twist after twist, this whole book. And I just friggin' loved it. I think I'm gonna like edit all of this video together because I've not actually started editing any of it yet. And then I'm gonna do a clip after and give you like my final ranking and my final thoughts like seeing what i thought at the time and like what i'm thinking now and then do it that way but oh my god this is like one of the best thrillers that i've read in a long time it was just perfect <laughs> basically hi guys so 
I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm so sorry if this vlog is ridiculously long because I've just put all my footage into like the editing system that I use and it's like over an hour. Obviously it won't be that long because I would never post a video that long, like nobody would watch it. I thought I would just do a little final wrap up here um, of the books that I read and what I thought. So first up we had The One. I think I'm going to give this book five star. I kept like referring back to it throughout the video, comparing the other books to it. So I feel like I might give that one a five star. If not, maybe a 4.5. Uh, but I feel like it deserves a five based on like how much I thought about it afterwards. No, I'm going to give it a five star because it deserves it. I kept thinking about it. I really enjoyed my time reading it. I loved the premise. I loved how we followed five different people, five different stories. There were so many twists. I overall just really loved it. So I'm going to give it a five star. The next book that I read, The Good Samaritan, I think I'm gonna give that one a four star because I loved the unhinged characters. However, I did find myself getting a little bit annoyed with our main character at times. She was very, very extreme. <laughs> I couldn't really root for her all the time and I found myself getting a bit frustrated with her. I thought especially the last like, I don't know, 20% of this book was so high stakes, so fast paced. It also had some really sad bits to it that I wasn't expecting. And then we got that epilogue and I just needed that. <laughs> um, so overall, I thought it was really good. I'm going to give it a four star. The next book that I read was The Passengers. I think I'm going to give this a 3.5. I really enjoyed different parts of it. I was a bit underwhelmed by the ending. I think I mentioned that I wanted a little bit more explanation about race in this book. But we didn't really get that we got a tiny bit and i didn't really delve into it again and i feel like it really needed that because we had quite a diverse range of characters who were the passengers and then that quickly got like turned into a very select few who were very similar in a way so i didn't love that but that again felt pretty high stakes a lot of things happened there were lots of twists that i enjoyed my favorite part was seeing the interviews that they the jury had to do with the passengers and then finding out what their big secret was but i think after the was it like the 80 percent mark or the 75 percent mark we were following in the future uh my interest just wasn't as high as it was in the first bit and i just didn't love like what happened with that section it all felt a bit quick it all felt a bit underwhelming so i'm gonna give it like a 3.5 lastly i read what lies between us and definitely my favorite easy five out of five this was so good. I could tell that this is his most recent book because it feels like he's learned a lot from The Good Samaritan where he's writing about these unhinged women and he's developed that skill a lot and I feel like this book really is a better version of it um, because even though you still hate some of the things that they're doing, you totally understand why they're doing it. You can feel empathetic towards them. I really loved everyone in this book. Again, the stakes were high. I was stressed. I was exhilarated. I just loved it right up until the final page. And although in The Passenger, it ended very quickly and abruptly in What Lies Between Us, there was so much going on in that last like 10%, but it didn't feel fast and rushed. It felt like very exhilarating, like I said. Obviously, in terms of um, an author taste test, this has worked out very, very well. Um, I've never read four books by the same author in such quick succession, but I thought it was really interesting to be able to compare them. And I will definitely do this video again. I will have a look at my TBR and see if there's any that are all like the same, <laughs> and then I can group them together again. Uh, but I really enjoyed filming this video. I hope you liked it. Give this video a like if you did enjoy it so that I know. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know in the comments if you've read any of John Mars books before, what you thought. And if you want to see me do any more author taste tests in the future. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!